1973, I was attending the National Convention for Baseball Coaches in San Francisco, and I'm sitting in the audience, and they bring this young optometrist, Dr. Harrison, up there, and I'm sitting with one of my other coaches, uh, Gary Marks, and we're sitting there, and when he started talking, they both start going forward. I says, hey, Gary, I says, this guy's got answers. So we're right away, we're taking notes down. And then we talked to him a little bit afterwards. He never moved me from the goalpost. But I, I, I talked to him, got a few more comments from him. And then it must have been uh, about a month later, this coach Marks, the assistant coach at that time, says, hey, Scalinas, he says, you know, that Dr. Harrison lives in our area down there in Laguna Beach. I says, you got to be kidding me, Gary. I says, get a hold of him. See if we can get him up here and let him talk to the ball club. So he got a hold of him, and the rest is history. We've been very successful year in and year out, and we've been utilizing him. I tell the ball players, I says, you know, I'd be shirking my responsibilities as a coach if I could get him and don't get him. So I've been getting him any chance I could get. I know he's busy and so forth, but we try to fit him in according to his schedule if he can make it. Because there's no question about it. You know, getting him out here has really uh, makes an impact on the ball players. Dr. Harrison definitely has answers. And what I mean by that, he has answers to production. I'm talking about uh, good production. And my concern here is on the field, but also off of the field. And the reason I make that, I've seen the results. I have definitely seen the results on the field and off of the field. So he has the answers. I would have been in the big leagues. If I would have met Dr. Harrison when I was a young ball player, I had, a, I would say, an outstanding chance of being a big league ball player. I ended up just being a minor league ball player. And I've said, I've said that to the ball players, not only to myself. Hey, listen, I says, listen to what he has to say. You're going to get better. You're going to be more consistent. You're going to be able to, to, per, to perform at your maximum. Our champion, he played an outstanding part in, in developing our champions here. You brought it to mind. No question about it. I've had, uh, I've had players outside. In fact, uh, a, uh, I had a doctor, an orthopedic, he's an orthopedic doctor, tells me how he's been utilizing Dr. Harrison's methods, as well as I had people in the police department have been using it. I've had people in everyday life and business that have used it. So I've got good, positive feedback on it. Hey, if that wasn't the case, you think I'd be bringing him back? Of course not. I've got positive results from it, so consequently I use well, it. on the field, I saw one, he couldn't, he was afraid to pitch against a junior college. I says, you can't pitch against a junior college and you want to pitch on this level? Forget it. We worked with him, worked with him, worked with him. We won the national championship in 1976. You know who the, who the uh, most valuable pitcher was? That guy, oh, Mike Regas. If that's your goal, you want to make more money, you're going to make more money. You want to have a better uh, uh, life, basically, better production in life? You can. Uh, you can fit that into any aspect you want. There's no question about it in my mind. It's just where, where are your priorities? You got your priorities there, and you apply his technique and methods, you can't go wrong. Well, Dr. Harrison, is, in my opinion, is number one. In fact, I, 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 uh, I hear different people talking about... Uh, I go to clinics and so forth about the visual dynamics and so forth. But as far as I'm concerned, Dr. Harrison is the father of all this stuff that's taking place today. He's the one that got the thing started, and people are picking up segments from here and there. But he's the one that started the whole thing. I know. I've been at it over 40 years. I'm talking about in the coaching profession. Scalinas, every time you think you're weak in the ball club, I think you're telling you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I